I'm gonna break down my exact AI-driven content brief process. This process has allowed me to cut the time it takes to make an SEO content brief down from about an hour down to about five to 10 minutes. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna give away the exact ChatGPT prompt that I use to make the outlines for the briefs in just a few seconds. So to make these briefs, I've taken my original template and really streamlined it to just what I feel are the most critical elements. Um, so we're gonna be able to do this process much faster than my full content brief. So the only tools we need is a keyword research tool, um, a tool like Robinize. And again, you don't need this tool or you don't need to pay for this. There's a way to do this for free as well. I bought a lifetime account through AppSumo to this company a while back. So I use it and it makes it a little bit faster. And then we just need a ChatGPT account, ideally ChatGPT4. So what we're gonna do is fill in these uh, sections of the brief where, and we'll go through each one and then ultimately fill in an outline. Now the big part that uh, we've developed with the ChatGPT prompt that speeds up the time it takes to make these is the prompt we're using to generate outlines. In the prompt, we feed the top 10 outlines that currently rank on Google to ChatGPT. And then we ask it to analyze them and figure out what sections they all have in common, what sections are unique that maybe only one or two competitors have, and what are new sections, and this is key, that nobody has to make our article better. We don't wanna simply just copy what's there. Uh, we wanna take the best elements of the various competitors, take the things they have in common, but also adding that new element when we added that to the prompt, the outlines we were getting were much better and really don't need a lot of edits, um, which then you could pass over this brief right to your content writer and be pretty confident that your brief's gonna be stronger than the current ones that exist. And again, the way we're doing that is by analyzing it in that way, which I used to do manually, but now using ChatGPT, um, we're able to do that. And I find this works much better than just giving ChatGPT or any AI tool a keyword and asking it to make you an outline. Anytime I do that, I find I need to do a lot of edits to really make the outlines as good as I think they should be. But actually giving it the data and feeding it the outlines is the big key that unlocks um, just a massive time savings for us with these. So really to do this, you only need a few things. So we're gonna go after the keyword keyword research template here in this example. Um, so again, you could find some secondary keywords just using href. So if we know our core keyword, we'll go to Keyword Explorer. This section here is always good to look through quickly. So we have SEO keyword research template, keyword research report, Excel template. My preferred method though is to actually go to the search results. Let's look at backlink going SEM Rush. And um, actually SEM Rush is interesting because it's kind of a different intent than the rest of these, where most of these are really keyword research template focused. So I'm gonna look at uh, HubSpot as well. And let's kind of see what kind of keywords are here. Keyword research template, keyword research spreadsheet. Again, the secondary keywords for this analysis aren't super important, but um, let's do, we'll do this one. I just like to have about three in here for the writer. Um, let's see what we have here. We'll do spreadsheet as well. So we kind of cover a couple different um, scenarios. Oh, this one was supposed to be Excel. So, okay. So now that we have that, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is get Robinize to run. So we're gonna run a report here on our core keyword. Now what this is gonna do is give us uh, information on the top 10 articles. If you wanted to do this for free without Robinize, all you need to do, and this seems tedious, but it doesn't take that long, is go to Google, type in the keyword, and actually open up all 10 articles. Then what I'll do is, I like this plugin called SEO Meta in one click, but really almost any SEO Chrome extension will give you this information. So we're gonna click on this and click on headers. And now we essentially get the outline of the article so we can copy this and paste it into ChatGPT and then do the same thing for the next article. So once you open all 10, it's fairly fast. Take this outline, copy it, and then we would paste it into uh, ChatGPT. And then again, same thing for the, the next article here. If we look at this one, we go to headings and then manually copy and paste. But because we're using this tool, it's almost done running here. Um, we're gonna use that because it's a lot faster as you'll see. So as far as the prompt now, so for the prompt, all we need to do is paste the keyword in and then paste the outlines in right here. Everything else is done for you. So I'll, I'll run through this. Basically what we're asking it to do is make us an outline based on the top 10 articles. And then this part's been key. We've been refining this quite a bit. So we want to take the common sections, the unique sections that some have and new sections that nobody has. And then actually asking it to note 
which of these three it is uh, was pretty helpful in our outlines because then we know which one are common sections, which ones are new and which ones are unique and we don't have to guess. And then this also has been helping, like making sure sometimes when you run this, the article doesn't end up being in the right order. So we've been trying to refine this second half to make sure it knows to actually make this it flow logically in the best order. So again, once you have this prompt, and you can edit it from here, but all we need to do is paste the keyword in and paste those outlines in. So now that this is done running, we're gonna click and open the report. And we're just gonna go to outlines here. And this is gonna give us all the outlines. I think it goes up to, yeah, up to about 17. We're gonna open the top 10 just by clicking on them. And now we have that. Then I just scroll down to the bottom right at 10 and we're just gonna copy all these. So you see now I have 10 outlines in about a second. That's why I like this tool. It's just much faster and all I need to do is paste that in and press enter. And now this chat GPT is gonna run and it's gonna make us the outline. So typically what I'll do while that's running is I'll work on the search intent section. Um, and for search intent, I just manually search the keyword and we'll do that next. As far as the URL, I, typically I'm just gonna use the main keyword and get rid of, uh, sometimes get rid of stop words or, or different things in it. But in this case, the main, the main keyword here, keyword research template should be fine. And again, I like providing the URL because sometimes I find if I don't, the article gets uploaded and the URL is just the heading of the page and it's really long and then I need to redirect it after the fact, which I want to avoid. You could add title tag and meta description here. I like to do that after the content's written, but that's something you could add to this if you wanted to. Uh, before we do search, uh, search intent, word count I grab right here from Robin Eyes. You could really use any tool like this to get it, but we'll do, so 1700 to 2100. And then call to action, this is gonna be based on your website, but I have a keyword research analysis template. So that's gonna be the perfect fit for this page. Really whatever you wanna promote in your content would be what you'd wanna put here. And then for search intent, if we actually scroll through, we can start to see what type of content is showing up. So it's kind of a mixture of these like direct template download pages. Um, but most of them are also kind of formatted as a blog post, if we look at this, where, the, yeah, they have the direct template, but then there's also a lot of information explaining this. So definitely pretty information heavy. I've actually had pretty good success with also asking ChatGPT for the search intent, which we'll do now. Um, and I find after you feed it these outlines, it does a much better job of analyzing search intent. So let's try that. Let's see, for search intent. I also like to do the type of content. Um, let's fix that. And then basically, we'll say three to five sentences. I like to ask it to be concise too because I find it'll sometimes make these really long paragraphs. Um, and for search intents, I prefer in the brief to have it uh, a little more simple. So let's say search intent, primary browser on users seeking practical tools and guides, streamline their keyword research process or purposes. They're looking for downloadable templates, step-by-step -step guides, and comprehensive instructions. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good, I would say. It's a good uh, starting point. And let's put this in. This is helpful for the writer to see. Um, so they have this kind of in the, in the background while they're writing. And then content types, yeah, blog posts, guides. So I'm gonna paste that into the right here. And now we have fairly detailed search intent analysis. And again, you could use it as a starting point and then manually look through the results and do your own analysis and adjust it. But this is gonna get us about 80, 90% of the way there. Um, and then all that's left is the outline. So if we scroll up, the outline has finished. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to copy and paste this into the outline section and we'll go through this. So this is what ChatGPT gave us based on this analysis. Uh, and again, I used to do this manually and now we find Really, this gets us really far. Sometimes we don't have to make any edits and sometimes it's just small edits to the outlines. So we'll see, we have intro to keyword research. So why use a template? This is common, so it means multiple articles. Then we have what is keyword mapping and it's telling us that this is unique from one article. Um, categories for keywords, this is unique from another article. Setting up a template, then we have a bunch of common sections. Advanced techniques, then we have kind of step-by-step -step here. Um, there's one new section here about uh, running, key, looking for search volume, search intent. Again, you could tweak these as you go, as you review this. Uh, optimization and content strategy. And 
maintaining and growing your keyword strategy. So pretty in-depth outline here. Now, what I would like to see more of probably is more new sections. I only see a couple in here. So that might be something I add in or ask ChatGPT again to find more. So you could do that after the outline's done, run another prompt where you ask it, can you give me another three to five ideas for new sections? But you'll see this gets us pretty far. So within five minutes, 10 minutes max, we can have a pretty good content brief. Now my other content brief formats much more in depth. We add quite a bit to it with internal links, uh, images, we run market muse to get semantic keywords. There's more you could add, but I find this process has been helping me really ramp up content production and really speed up the time it takes to do a brief and then actually start writing. So it's a critical step. I still don't think it's worth skipping doing a brief and just giving keywords to a writer. I do think the brief is really important, but this is one way I found to make pretty good outlines. So we're going to be giving away this brief template plus the chat GBT prompt uh, and a few other ones that we're working on uh, on our newsletter. So if you want a copy of this template plus the prompts that we're using to speed this up, uh, sign up for the newsletter. It'll be in the link below. And every month we give away a different template. So this will be the next one that we're giving out within the next week or so.